Hey folks, it's Johnny here coming to you from right outside of Washington, D.C. And in today's video, we are going to talk about pulling. I hope you're excited. The three keys to pulling are the cross step, keeping our head level, and angle control. Let's take a look. The cross step is the fundamental movement to pulling. Not only is it simple, but it will help you transfer power from your legs to your upper body to get the most distance and float out of your pull. The way that you perform the cross step is by standing parallel to the sideline, taking the first step with your throwing foot. If you're a righty, that's your right foot. If you're a lefty, that's your left foot. Taking the next step behind that with your back foot. If you're a righty, it's your left foot and vice versa. And then transferring power and throwing when you step back onto your throwing foot. The key to performing the cross step correctly is not overstepping and making sure that your movements are quick but also deliberate. So a few common mistakes I see are really overstepping, so taking a huge first step and then having to catch up with your back foot and that's going to be an inefficient motion. And then like I said, the movement should be quick but deliberate. If you're doing the cross step too fast, you can move those feet really swiftly, but it might throw off your motion at the end of the throw. So quick but deliberate feet and making sure that you're taking just shoulder width sizable steps. The second key to pulling, keeping our head level, is essentially a cue to make sure that our whole body stays nice and efficient throughout our pulling motion. A common mistake that we often see with pulling is throwers who want to throw 100% of their power right away. That kind of mindset will make for a wild throw. And a good way to look at it is watch my head when I do this exaggerated rep. You see how it came up there at the end? The head coming up means that we are unbalanced and inefficient in our motion. And that also makes for a wilder throw. Keeping our head level on one plane will make sure that our whole body is staying nice and tight in our motion, leading to the most powerful floaty pull possible. Something that looks like this. So my head there is not coming up and down, bobbing. You can see it with the visor of my hat, staying on one plane. And the third thing we're going to talk about is angle control and disc position. So when we think about angle control, we've talked about this in my other throwing videos. The more inside out angle that we're putting on the disc, the longer it's going to be before it flattens out. So the more power we can put behind it. Therefore, when I'm throwing a pull, my farthest, floatiest throw possible, I want to make sure that the nose angle is pretty much down toward the ground. And then when we're pulling through, we can put a lot of power on that throw, comes out like this, and it'll come up in the air, flatten out, and hopefully have those three stages of flight, those coveted three stages of flight. Now another important thing about pulling is using your disc position to garner the best possible outcome. What I mean by this is if you have your disc out in front of you the whole time while you're pulling, you're not getting the most potential energy into your throw. Therefore, you're not translating it into kinetic energy and you're not getting the farthest floatiest throw possible. To maximize that potential energy and transfer it into the best throw possible, we're going to make sure that our disc position starts out neutral and then as we take these steps, it's going to come behind us and then we're throwing from here. So see how this is starting, starting neutral with me. As I take my cross steps, we're cocking the disc back, not necessarily by moving our arm, but leaving it where it is while our body moves forward. So here we go, leaving it where it is. Now it's all the way back, and now I can pull through with that angle and have it be the best version of my pull. Let's take a look at some examples to really drive these three points home. Just a quick recap of our three points while we're looking at these examples. We have our cross step, nice, quick, efficient, yet deliberate steps, keeping our head level, making sure that we're not throwing wildly and using a concise motion, and thinking about our angle control and disc position, putting lots of inside out angle on that disc and making sure that we're leaving it behind us so we can pull it all the way through. 
That's all my pulling tips. I hope that this video helped you grow and become a much more potent threat on defense by starting off every point with a pull that you can be proud of. Peace.